we have seen that in metals when temperature increase the resistance increase now we combine two metals three metals and make an alloy you have a, a wide variety of alloy like aluminium nickel cobalt el nico similarly many alloys of copper and uh, zinc and brass is a alloy and similarly there are so many alloys which you study in chemistry and metallurgy okay alloys are made of metals so they are good conductors but when we increase the temperature what happens to their resistivity or resistance it has been tested and we have found that when we increase the temperature there is no change in the resistance no change so this is a specialty in the alloys alloys no change now this property you will ask why okay this is property uh, because of the combination of the two when one is not able to give the path other metal gives the path and for this strange combination configuration of the atoms we find that the drift velocity does not change much and it finds a way to maintain its drift velocity with that there is no much change in current and the resistance does not change much okay but whatever is the original uh, resistivity that uh, coefficient of resistivity that remains there so coefficient of resistivity is negligible it's very small and there will be no change we know that resistance after heating is equal to original resistance 1 plus alpha into change in temperature now if this alpha is very small or negligible for alloys what will happen we increase the temperature and we find there is not much change in the resistance this is a boom for us how when we are measuring resistances then we use the standard resistance and compare other with that that is the method of making resistance if i uh, have to find out resistance of this and i know the resistance of this that this is equal to 3 ohm then i compare the two comparing method we will study separately but when i compare the two it is a process which takes some time during that time if i balance them and they become equal then i say this is also 2 ohm because i know this is 2 ohm made it equal now in the process i take some time and during that time the current is flowing in it if its resistance increase and from 2 it becomes 2.5 by the time i balance it i balanced it and i say here it is written 2 ohm so this is also 2 ohm but because of heating it has already gone up to 2.5 so when i declare it is 2 ohm and write here 2 ohm my reading is wrong why it has got resistance change due to temperature high so in place of a metal i will take a uh, alloy if i take a alloy then current flows through it it will get slightly heated up if it gets slightly heated up even then its resistance do not change so by the time i make my comparison and both are equal i will declare that this is 2 ohm this is actually 2 ohm because it has not changed so what is its use now the alloy is uses to make standard resistance for comparison used for making these are the very main use of the alloys now in this many questions are asked why alloys are used for making standard resistance you know this answer second question in standard resistance what is used so the answer is in standard resistance alloys are used for what property for this property so this way uh, we explain it so this was resistance 
of the alloys and now after this we will study in the next lecture how the resistance of electrolyte compound chain electrolytes are liquids current flow through them and if they are heated what is change in the current that we will study in the next lecture.